Okay, so double angles. What are double angles? I think it's pretty much self-explanatory over here. When you take double 2, you're saying it's 4. When you double 8, you're saying it's 16. Well, uh, from there, I think it's very, very clear. It's actually 2 multiplied by something. And if I say 2 times cow, that's identical to saying cow plus cow. And so 2 times cow is the same as saying cow plus cow, which is the same as to cow. Right. Okay, so now that we understand that, let's see how we can relate this to double angles. Well, if I told you sine A plus A, or before I go to A plus A, let's start at sine 2A, you'll say, my, but that's the same as saying sine A plus A. Right? And this I can use my compound angle identity. I can say it's sine cos plus cos sine and it's a a and there we go now sine a cos a is the same as cos a times sine a because that's the same as saying 2 times 3 is equal to 3 times 2 this is uh, commutative right and so what I can do over here is I can say well I've got two of that now so my solution is just 2 sine a times cos a and that's an identity that sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a cos a. Now what does this mean? It means if I said, uh, for argument's sake, you already know the answer of sine of 60 degrees, but what if you said sine 60 is equal to sine of 30 degrees plus 30 degrees? Well, that's sine cos cos sine. 30, 30, 30 plus remains plus and 30 degrees over there. Now sine of 30 is going to be a half. Cos 30 is going to be root 3 over 2 plus cos 30 is root 3 over 2 and this over here sine 30 is just going to be a half. Now the truth is that's the same thing. Okay, So my solution over there is actually 2 multiplied by a half multiplied by root something happened over there multiplied by root 3 over 2 and 2 times a half is 1 so therefore my answer is just root 3 over 2 so given that you already knew that sine 60 is root 3 over 2 and I got the same answer there this shows us that the identity does indeed work at least for 30 plus 30 okay so that's one of the double angle identities let's now look at one more let's look at cos for cos I'm just going to give you the identities cos of a plus a right it's the same as cos of 2 multiplied by a Given that we know cow plus cow, give me two cow, which is the same as two times cow. Then this year has actually got two identities. The first one is actually, let's start with cos squared a minus sine squared a. That's the very first. That's the very first identity. Now, using the Pythagorean identities, we can actually derive other identities here. So the other one is going to be two cos squared a minus one, and the final one is going to be 1 minus 2 sine squared a. Now there are three options and you can say why in the world are there three different options? Well when we prove identities like for example right hand side equals left hand side we will choose the most appropriate